A stop the hate rally that was scheduled for this morning has been pushed to tomorrow. Participants also planning to honor the legacy of a Black Lives Matter activist. News 2's Katie Augustine spoke to an organizer for the event about the reason behind it. Gathering together to call for change. That's the plan for the United Front of Charleston and others at a Stop the Hate rally. The rally is being called Stop the Hate to encourage the city of Charleston to take further action on their anti-hate resolution. City Council voted to approve that resolution in January. Now Jason Jones, the founder of United Front of Charleston, wants the city to do more. Really and truthfully, the Stop the Hate message is to force the city to identify those groups and what they're, what they're deeming as hate or divisiveness. Another purpose of the planned rally to remember Charleston Black Lives Matter activist Moyadine Moye. You may remember the name as he was an advocate for change in police practices after the 2015 shooting of Walter Scott. Moye was later shot and killed in New Orleans in 2018. He was a great activist here in this area from Charleston. Had a lot of big dreams, a lot of big ideas. Jones says 80 to 100 people are expected to attend the rally. The rally is now planned for tomorrow morning at White Point Garden in downtown Charleston. In studio, I'm Katie Augustine. Count on two.